Hi there, welcome back to the breadboard. In previous videos, we've looked at the Phoenix Contact PLC Next, the 2152 and the starter kit, which includes an analog and digital I.O. modules. This video, we're going to look at installing and setting up the license for the PCWorks engineer software that you require to create applications to run on the PLC. So the first thing you need to do is go to the phoenixcontact.com site. It, you just put in www.phoenixcontact.com. It will automatically bring you up to online portal PC. Select your country. So in my case, it's automatically defaulted to Canada. So if it doesn't, then obviously go pick where you want. Uh, click on go to. Now we want to be logged in to be able to do this. So click on login register. And if you haven't logged in already, then create a register. Sorry, if you haven't registered already, then create an account and log in. Uh, I can't remember if I've, I know I've created an account on the forum. I don't know if that would count for here. No, so just go through registration, uh, fingers contact, salutation. I'm just going to quickly fill this in and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the first page just collects your contact information, no username or password, and you end up with your registration was successful, assuming you're successful. It's going to send you an email. So here is the email. Dear Peter Oaks, thanks for registering Phoenix. Click here to complete your registration. And so let's go in. All right, so add a password. And re-enter it. And submit. And there we go. So now we can go log in. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to download and install the software and also get a license going. The easiest way to do this is to put in the search area the PC works, that's with an X, and we want engineer version 7, which is the current version. And we'll hit search. Okay, here we go. So this is the page for the PC works engineer and you actually need to configure it apparently um, you'll get delivery within 48 hours so we will hit configure and we come up with the license configurator eventually there we go so pc works engineer and i guess we want to add a license next step would be for the additional i guess modules that come with it so that would be without license i believe and these are just add-ons to the main application and license type single user and number of simultaneous users I like to have two because I often will be using my laptop as well as my desktop so I'm just going to put in two here I don't know what it's going to give me but I think that's everything I need yeah no we want to we don't want to I don't want to have a network license that involves additional pain in the ass stuff so we'll just say one there so we're good license options all the various pieces and i think that's everything we need to add there so display articles i believe we need to add it to the shopping cart okay so there we go and add to shopping cart so just click through and now we should be able to, there we go, it's in the shopping cart. I know you've got those other pop-ups, but let's just go to shopping cart. And we should be able to, okay, so there's our configuration. Uh, we'll get an email with the license key, I guess, within 48 hours. So for you, it'll be seconds delay. For me, I'll have to wait a, till the end of the weekend, probably, because this is a Friday, for the license key to arrive. So I guess we just hit inquiry, because that's the only thing that's there. Yep. I guess you send an inquiry. Now, from what I understand, sometimes these licenses can be free depending on certain circumstances. I don't know what those circumstances are. I'm doing these videos for Phoenix and for RS Components. 
um, to help you guys learn how to use the equipment. So hopefully they'll just send me one for free. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, this is just all part of the registration process. And um, let me just fill in some details here and click next and we'll see what happens. And when you're all done, you submit your inquiry and you get an acknowledgement. Now, I guess we just have to wait for up to 48 hours. So for you, as I said, see you in a minute. For me, wait till Monday. Now, while we wait, there's nothing to stop you from downloading the PC Works and installing it. It will give you 30 days of use before you need the license. Um, I've had mine running now. I've got about 13 days left or something like that. So I figured I should make the video while I can still use the software as well. But I will show you how to download as well. So you just go back to search, put in uh, PC Works again, 7. And instead of creating, we should be able to go to Downloads and download the software. So you can go to shrink the list, just the software. And here we have, so PC Works 7.2.3. And we will need this activation software later as well. So we're going to just download them both. Why not? Select all and click on download. Yes, we accept the software terms. Of course, you've read that. Click download. So it shouldn't take too long. It's only 200 megabytes or so. Okay, that's done. So open up the file. And we have an EXE for activation and we have PCWorks engineer setup version 7.2.3. Now the, I think I already have PCWorks engineer set up 7.2.3. It may be a later version. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, the, mine says alpha, but I got a very early version of 7.2.3 uh, and they made, <laughs> when they released it, I guess they forgot to take out the alpha symbol. So I'm just going to download it again and reinstall it. And that should get rid of the alpha symbol because it's not in alpha, it's actually release code. So we'll open up that zip file and there's PCWorks engineer. I'm just gonna drag that into my PLC next folder and run it. And we'll go back to the here and we'll drag the activation wizard in there as well for when I get my activation email. All right, so we're done with that. So now let's run the executable. I can find where I put it. And here we go. So obviously pick your language of choice. If you've got two, German or English. So say yes. And next. Yes, we accept the license terms, etc., etc. And putting it into that folder. If you want to change it, then that's where you would do that. So it looks like it's removing the old one from the folder, which is good because, there, as I said, there is a there was a patch just to fix that uh, logo, and there may be a couple of other things that have been done to it for this version. Okay, there we are done. So we'll click on finish. And we just bring up the screen now and we should have it somewhere. So there we have it, PCWorks Engineer 7.2.3 in the PCWorks folder. I'm just going to add that to my taskbar just to make life easy. Might as well run it while we're here. So no more alpha symbols or anything, which is good. So it is still keeping up knowledge of the fact that uh, I've got 12 days left of my license. So this is PC Works Engineer. And for those of you following along with the AXC F2152 projects, uh, in my case, the starter kit, 
then what you would do in here is you'd pick the 2152 project and go on from there. I'm going to make a separate video for using the software though, so I'm not going to worry about that right here. Here we're just looking at licensing. So um, now I just go away from my license key. Okay, it's been a few days now and I finally have my license come back in an email for PC Works Engineer. So um, I will show you how to install that. Now I have also been informed from Phoenix that they're actually going to change the licensing so that you don't have to do this um, going forward. I'm not sure when that will take effect though. I'm pretty sure it'll be fairly soon. But if you do end up with a PC Works Engineer that you need a license for, then this will be the process. Uh, anyway, so if you try and run PC Works Engineer without a license, obviously this is the message you're going to see. There was no license for this software on your computer. One of the licenses is required. So you can retry and it will make no difference. So come right back and say it again. It's popping up on my other screen. Um, so we're just going to cancel here and we're going to run the PC Works, PC Works activation. No, license manager, I think. Oh, no, this is this one, Phoenix Contact. Okay, so we run this one. I'm just going to pull the email as well, one second. So here is the certificate they send you as a PDF, and you can see here, you know, the license certificate number, ticket ID, which I blanked out, because obviously this is my license, uh, who's licensing it, licensee, etc. Now, they provided this to me free of charge, and as you can see here, the licensee is also set up as Phoenix Contact. Um, this is done for me because so I can show you how to do the process. I would imagine that if you get a license, it would have your details in here. And so, we just take the ticket ID, I believe, and we put it into the activation wizard. So, let's just go next on here. And we want to activate the license. So we go next, and it wants the ticket ID. So we're just going to put that in. Where's my PDF gone? There it is. So we just put the license ID in, ticket ID in, sorry. And we just say, okay, so once you put your ticket ID in, you just say next. And there we go, select the license for which, so that's the one, there's only one in here. And we say activate. And license is successfully activated, so we'll close that. And now we'll try and load PC Works Engineer again. It's probably gonna come up on a different screen. Oh, no, it's coming up on this one, good. Um, so now there's no error message or anything. Just takes a moment to start up. And there we go. So, no messages saying it's only got X number of days to live, etc., etc. We're right back in. Here's all the projects we had. So, it doesn't get rid of anything. It doesn't reinstall anything. It just activates your application, PC Works Engineer. So, uh, that's it. Nice and simple. Sorry, you know, well, I guess for you, it's just a second you had to wait. I had to wait a few days to get the license back. And um, so, that's all you have to do to set up your PC Works Engineer so that you can program your. Um, AXCF2152 PLC or starter kit. So, if you like the video, thumbs up, usual stuff, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.